This video is for the people who have selected the second option in this pool. The amount you measure out is the amount you will be given. So this is the right option. Luke 6.38 says, Give and there will be gifts for you. A full measure pressed down, shaken together. Running over will be put into a bosom. For with the measure you use, it will be given back to you. I have pressed the second one. That is why I could see the result of this poll. So this video is for the people who chose the second one. The 38% Christian and Catholics. But if you have selected by checking it on the on the Google, then this video is not for you. So I assume all 38% was like with me. So by heart, they have selected this option. Means they knew the verse Luke 6.38 by heart. You know this verse. Very good. You have the faith. You have the faith not just as a mustard seed. But you have a very big faith. Because you know this verse that is Luke 6.38. It is a very very important verse for each and every Christian. It talks about giving and only after you give there will be gifts for you. Only after you give. So if you want money you have to give at least 10% of tithes from your income at least if you want people to love you you have to love others if you want people should take care of you you have to take care of others if you think you want people to acknowledge you you have to Acknowledge the people the, the way they are. So it all depends on you. But we cannot exercise it. At this situation, God calls you that you are a person whose faith is dead. You have faith, but your faith is dead. Because you don't practice it. All Christians have faith. There is no doubt. That is why all Christians believe in Jesus. As simple as that. I don't have to preach you. Because you already know the fundamentals of Christianity. That is why you are a Christian. So I don't have to preach you. Jesus used to preach because that point of time, there was no Christians. All were Jews and pagans. So, we have to see our congregation, we have to see the crowd. If you are called to a non-Christian gathering to speak about Jesus, then you have to preach. Then you have to Make them to confess, I believe. You have to teach them who God is, Jesus is, the Holy Spirit is, who Heavenly Father is. You have to preach. You have to preach to them. The preaching is for non-Christians. But even in a Christianity, all the 100% people 
people who are talking about Jesus, they are all preachers. 2.5 billion population is listening to the preacher. There is no need preachers for Christians. Preachers are for non-Christians, for non-believers and who does not believe in God, any God. But for the Christians, we need teachers, not teachers of the law. To teach what the law is telling, what the Ten Commandments are telling, that everybody knows. The teachers to teach, as in Mark 16, 15 to 20 onwards, to teach how the sick can be healed by laying the hands, how to cast out the demons. This we have to teach. These are two things. We have to teach to the Christians. So, it may be the pastor of your church or the preacher of your church or the priest of your church or the brother, sister or anybody of your church. They are all useless and void. They are all useless to the 2.5 billion Christians. That is why all Christians are become useless. All people are dead by faith. The faith is not working. The faith is dead. Because they cannot lay their hands and heal the sick, they cannot cast out the demons. If you don't do this, if these two things are not happening in your life, if the Holy Spirit cannot do these two things from you, your faith is dead. You are of no good to your own self, nor to your family, nor to your church. You are like a dog. Dog. Yes, you got me right. D-O-G. So, this Bible verse you can find in Revelation. I will put it in my comment. What is called a dog? Dog means if you do good to dog, the God will, the dog will. If you do good to dog, the dog will lick you. But if a stranger comes, the dog will bite the stranger. The dogs I am talking about are the dogs who created by God, not the hybrid dogs which you get now. Those are like toys. So God is saying dogs will not enter into the kingdom of God. Dogs will not be able to use their faith because Christians do good to those who do good to them. Christians are dangerous and do bad to those who hate them or to their enemies. So this is the character of a dog. So now I gave you the sermon, the difference, but the solution is what? You will ask me. What is the solution to use your faith? How you can use your faith? So far, nobody had 
used their faith. Their faith is gone along with them in the grave. They would have been a great help of help to others like me, like the disciples, like Paul and like Jesus. But by their own wish, by their own lifestyle, by their own decisions and thinking, their faith is gone along with them in the grave. And it will be with the other Christians as well. But since you got the video, please share it to everybody. Put on your uh, status, WhatsApp status. Send to each and every contact in your status personally so that all Christians are able to use their faith. So, it is very easy. In just two minutes, I will finish it off. Just ask the help of the Holy Spirit to help you to study the Bible, the New Testament, Mark, Matthew, Luke and John. And now, after doing this, while you are doing this, also go to my YouTube channel. Click the options on the top, the videos. Then go to the oldest video and start from there, from my first video, two and a half years back. Listen to it. Write it down. While listening, write it down. While listening, write it down. Maybe three, four times you need to listen to it. And finish writing. Record it on your YouTube channel or on your mobile and upload it on your YouTube channel if you don't have YouTube Live. And while you are doing this, while you are studying the Word of God, while you are uploading my videos, in few days you will see a shift in your thinking, in your lifestyle, in the way you talk, in the things you watch on the social media or internet or TV or mobile, whatever. And your friend circle, you will see there is a lot of change. You are uh, becoming a renewed person. So that's it. When you ask the help of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the one who will guide you, who will help you to learn and be filled with wisdom, knowledge, faith and understanding and the evil spirits will leave you, the sicknesses will leave you, you will get healed and you will get prosperous, uh, you will be blessed with a job, money or your business will restart and uh, uh, you will be a teacher to others. Now you are giving your testimony and now you are, uh, whatever you are uh, praying, uh, they get healed and now you are also teaching them that they also need to be like you. They have to imitate, you have to imitate me because I imitated the disciples. I imitated uh, Paul who wrote the letters in the gospel in the uh, New Testament and I imitated Jesus Christ. So we have to imitate, you have to imitate me. So I start from today and uh, use your faith don't take it in the grave you will forever burn in hell and those who live after you on this planet earth they will also have a bad life early death miserable life so don't wait for tomorrow maybe tonight you will take the faith your faith in the grave. Amen.